Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering naming polygons. And specifically, we're going to start with a polygon that has three sides and three angles. We're going to work our way up to a polygon that has 10 sides and 10 angles. Now, I want to start with the word polygon itself. It comes from the Greek word poly, which means many, and gon, which means angles. Now, polygons are named by the number of sides and angles they have. So, like I mentioned, we're going to work our way through three sides and angles up to 10 sides and angles. Now, the numbers to the left, that shows how many angles and sides that polygon has. So, if we take a look at our examples here, three sides and three angles. Now, there are two examples for each of these. The examples on the left are irregular polygons. That means the sides all do not have to be the same and the angles do not all have to be the same. The examples on the right are regular polygons. All the angles have to be the same and all the side lengths have to be the same. So let's jump into three sides and three angles. We would call this a triangle. Tri, our prefix here, means three. Let's go to four. Now you may want to call this a rectangle and this a square, and that's true, though that is a rectangle and that is a square, but those are specific quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral includes every uh, polygon with four sides. Five, pentagon. And you can remember this one, this shape here, this pentagon, uh, there's a building in Washington, D.C., and if you look at it from uh, the top view, it looks like that, and it is a pentagon, hence the name pentagon. Six sides and angles, we call that type of polygon a hexagon. And you can remember that six has an X and hexagon ha has an X, so match your X's. On to seven sides and angles now, and this one actually has two names. Uh, you can either call it a heptagon or a septagon. I prefer septagon. I think that's easier to remember because septa here kind of sounds like seven. Seven starts with an S and so does septagon. Next, eight sides and angles, octagon. And you can remember this one because it kind of sounds like octopus, which octagon and octopus have eight in common. So that's how you can remember that one. Octa, that prefix, means eight. Nine, nonagon, which kind of sounds like nine. And then lastly, 10 sides and angles, decagon. And you can remember this one because a decade has 10 years and a decagon has 10 sides and angles. Deca means 10. Now, obviously, we can continue going on forever to an 11-sided polygon, 12, 13, 14, so on and so forth, but these are a little more common. Actually, some within this, li some within this list are more common than others, but there are three sides and angles through 10 sides and angles, and remember, we name polygons by the number of sides and angles they have. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.